Hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Patrice and I am so glad that you are here. Please be sure to look at the other content and if you enjoyed that content, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and also make sure to hit that red subscribe button below for my returning subscribers. Hey y'all, welcome back. So today's video will be featuring Belle. And for those of you who don't know, Belle is our Blowforge. Okay, so I purchased a whole bunch of acrylic from Cerulean Tides a few weeks ago, and I finally opened it, and I am ready to use all of this acrylic. Okay, so it is pretty amazing. It's very sturdy, and this is what Belle and I created. We created one of those social media signs where you have your QR code. And I designed this inside of Adobe Illustrator. I am going to give you all a quick run through of how I designed this cute sign. All right, so just your camera, anyone's camera can pull up all of your links and they're all in one place with the QR program that I used and I will have a link to that website also below but look how cute y'all so this is 1 8 thick acrylic and it is very it's it's a very nice uh, thickness it's very very strong and sturdy the pink is a mirrored acrylic and I used a little bit of 3m to get this stuck on here but look y'all hey, so I'm going to yeah get ready and show y'all how I got this done let's get started all right y'all so now we are in illustrator and we are going to throw something together really quickly we will be making an SVG file that we will be able to upload into the Glowforge app. All right, so first we are going to start with picking a shape. So I'm just going to use some shapes here that's already in Adobe. You can pretty much create any shape you want within the Adobe app, but we are just going to create a shape and I will be making a fairly small plaque um, you can make it whatever size you want it to be. And I'm just adjusting this. I'm trying not to change the, the dimensions too much. And I want it to remain proportioned. So I just held down the shift key and I grabbed one of the anchors and I adjusted it that way. All right. So next I am going to create a rectangle. And the rectangle will go here. And I don't want it to be too long, but I do want it to be a nice size because I am going to insert my logo. So next we want to create the tab and the slot. All right, so we are going to select the rectangle tool again. And I am just going to Put the tab here it doesn't have to be that this wide you can definitely decrease the width if you choose all right and that looks pretty decent but I'm gonna select that and then I'm just gonna make sure that it's centered click object then go to a line and then we want a horizontal center all right and so here we are that is perfectly centered here these two should all be centered also and so what i am going to do is i am going to select that click copy and then i am just going to paste it because i kind of want it to be the same width but i am going to adjust the length because I need to make sure that the slot when it is cut that it is going to fit into the slot so I need to adjust the slot the tab is going to be just fine but I don't want it to be too 
far down because I want it to fit nicely into the slot. So I am just going to move this up a bit and we can definitely, so for here, I am going to adjust this to 0.125 inches because the acrylic that I'm using is 1 8 of an inch thick. All right, so I'm just going to pretty much put 1 8 of an inch here which is going to be 0.125 inches in height. And so that will adjust it. So that way your tab will fit into the slot. Okay, so that's typically how it goes. I am going to add a fifth of an inch to this only because I really want it to go in nicely and I've had success and doing it that way and it'll be nice and snug but it will definitely fit inside of the tab all right so you can adjust it you can even adjust it a little bit more because my t it is a very very tight fit you can adjust it more if you like so i am just going to go over here and i am going to select my pathfinder and i want this to merge so now that it has merged uh oh let me change it so i'm going to change that outline to red because when you are in the glowforge app red means to cut so here we have our cut file right here and i am going to pretty much do the same thing here and so both of these are now cut files all right so now i am going to just create a compound path and you can go to object Click compound path and make. And I am going to group this together. And then I am also going to create a compound path. That's an object. You can also press command eight. All right, so here we have our, the base and our actual plaque. And so now we need to decide what we want on, on our plaque. And I do want to create an engraved inset of the actual plaque. So you can do like one engraved, two engraved. You can do different things on here. Whatever it is that you want to do, you really can do it. So I am just going to select the plaque. I am then going to go to object and I'm going to go to path and create an offset. So the offset is already set as an inset at this point because the inset, the offset is usually an outline around whatever it is that you're doing. I'm making an inset. So that inset is inside of the object or the shape. And so here we have an inset and it's there and it came up as red, but we are going to change that to green. And so now I am going to select that and I'm going to make sure that that is grouped together. Okay. So next we want to put some text in, in here. So I want to put here, we are going to put, let's get social. All right. And so I am going to go to properties and just change the font. I think I'm going to use this rainbow donut. I want something fun, something that looks crafty, right? And so we are going to put the let's get social here. And this is going to be an engraved file. And so for anything that you're doing when you're making your SVG files, you have to turn this into an outline so you are going to you can right click and just click create outlines and then you're going to expand so you're going to go to object and then click on expand and then i usually like to head over to pathfinder and unite before i actually make it into the compound path and then i'm going to click compound path Okay, so now this is a cuttable file. And so we are just going to turn this blue because in the Glowforge, 
it will be, that's how they know what's what. And so I am actually making this, it's not going to be outlined because I want the Glowforge to engrave the lettering. I don't want an outline to be engraved. I want all of those letters to be engraved. So here I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I did for Let's Get Social, following the exact same steps. I am also going to make sure once I'm done with that, that I group everything because I want this all to be transported over into the Glowforge app as one object when it's time to cut it and engrave. All right guys, so now we're in QR code generator and what you're going to do is generate the QR code for people to access your social medias or whatever it is that you want them to access. Okay, so you'll just click create QR code. Once you do that, you'll be able to click on to social media or whatever it is that you want. If you want them to go to your website, they can. You can put the link there. If you want them to go to your business page, if you want them to go to videos, you can pretty much direct them anywhere you want to direct them to with the QR code. But I just wanted to put all of my social medias under one QR code. The only one that's not on this is going to be TikTok. So you're gonna click on social media. And then once you do that, you will click next. And so on this particular site, I'll have the link listed below. You can change the landing screen. So it can either be this one or you can change it to that one. As you see, it gives you a preview. And so once you are ready to move forward, you can put what you want to say on that screen. And then you will enter all of your social medias here and any text that you want it to say. And then it'll look like this. And when anybody goes on there, they will be able to just click that site. Once they scan the QR code, they'll be able to select that site once it comes up on their phone or iPad or whatever it is that they're using to scan the code. And then once you click next, it'll take you to another screen. We're not going to do that here, but it'll take you to another screen to finalize it. And here you'll just select which social media profiles you want to be included there right now. These are just basic. You have a website, YouTube, Facebook, but you can select different social medias. All right, y'all. So now it is time for us to place our social media QR code into the plaque. And so I'm just going to go to file. And once you download it from the website, it'll go into your download folder if you don't change the destination. And ours should be coming up. And here it is right here. It saves as a PNG. And so it will import in a lot larger than we'd like. So I'm just holding down the shift key and I'm resizing it that way because I don't want to change the proportions. All right, so I wanna engrave this image, okay? I don't necessarily need the bottom portion, so I am just going to make it a little smaller, and then I am going to select the image, and then I'm going to go over to Image Trace. Click image trace. I'm just going to click default because it is a black and white image, nothing major. So then I'm going to click expand and then I'm going to click ungroup. So then I'm going to select the parts that I don't want. So I don't want this white part here. So I'm going to select that and then delete. So all the parts that I don't really want, I'm just gonna delete. So I don't need that bottom part. I'm definitely going to delete that. And then I'm going to select this white background here and delete that. And then I also want to delete all of this also. 
because I only want the black. All right, so now I need to delete the white inside of here. You don't necessarily have to do it the way that I'm doing it here. If you want, you can print this out as a sticker and put it onto the, or you can print this out or you can cut this on your cutting machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette and use vinyl. I want to engrave it, so I'm moving all of these unnecessary pieces that I don't really need. All right, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that I can see it better and select it better. Okay. This is just removing the white. And so when I put this into the plaque, it will engrave the plaque. Of course, I'm going to turn it blue. But before I move it, remember I ungrouped it. Now you can you can even take away this border if you like. I'm going to leave the border. I like the border here. But I'm going to select all of that and then I'm going to group it. So you can click group over here on the right panel or you could have right clicked it and press group. And so now it'll all move as one. All right. And as we know, that is going to be way too big. So I'm going to resize this. About right here because our logos will go here. All right. And so now I'm going to change the color to that blue because when it goes into the Glowforge app, I need for the Glowforge app to know that it is going to be engraved. All right, so everything's looking good so far. And now it's time for us to add our last few pieces. And I am going to click onto layer. Now I'm not really centering this. I'm pretty good with how this is. And with Adobe, you don't really have to center because your your markers and your lines will tell you want to center. So this is centered right here. Okay, so next I'm going to head over to the layers and let me select all of this because I want this to be grouped. I want all of that to be grouped together so that when we move it over into the Glowforge app, everything will cut how it's supposed to cut and we won't have to worry too much about anything else. All right, so now I'm going to add a layer and to add a layer, you're gonna click down here, create new layer. And here in this layer, we are going to put the hey y'all and we are also going to put the social media symbols. All right guys, so now on to this, layer we are going to put our text and the text is simply going to be hey y'all and i am going to expand it and i'm definitely changing the font i want to use a cursive font and lately if you've been looking at any of the other videos y'all know i've been using artists a lot so i'm going to see how this looks how big or how small i want to make it and then what i'm also going to do is i'm going to increase the stroke and the stroke is the outline around the lettering i want it to be a little a little bigger um, or a little more noticeable and so i am going to increase it by let's see I think a three point stroke is good for this, okay? And so what I want to do now is, is I wanna see if this is how I like it. And I think this is how I I like this size. I, I like this size because the letters are so fine. I don't want it to go too far off of the acrylic plaque. So I just want it to go off just slightly. So this looks really good. The same way we did the Let's Get Social, the email address and the QR code. We are going to do the same thing. We're going to create outlines. We didn't have to create an outline for the QR code, but for all of the other lettering, we did create outlines. And then we go to expand. 
and then you're expanding the fill and the stroke. And then I'm gonna go back over to Pathfinder and you can find your Pathfinder on your side panel sometimes. If not, you wanna go to Window and then you can select Pathfinder here in the Window area, okay? All of the different features for Adobe would be in your Window area and you can click that and get easier access to it. All right, so we're gonna have that clicked and I'm going to click the Unite button. So now that makes it one shape, like it's all together because before those were those letters were separate, all right? And so then before I make a compound path, I actually want to move this over a little. And I want to move the Y over. I'm moving these over because I really want these to touch because I don't want to have to worry about trying to piece it together. All right, and so now that looks like that touches. And so I'm going to click onto both of those and then I'm going to click Unite again. So now that makes it one. And then I'm gonna move the words over just a tad so that there's not too much of a space in between. And so this looks good so far. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the words and then I am just going to do an outline because we're just cutting it. And so we only really need that red outline. We don't really need it to be filled. And so now that is going to be another file that is cut. And then I am going to, because I'm going to be cutting those from different, um, different acrylic pieces. So now I am going to go back to object and I am going to create a compound path. So now we have this set up and it's looking really, really good. We are now going to import in the social media logos. Okay, so we're going to go to place and I'm going to go back to downloads, which we're already here. And we have a black social media icon bundle. And I'm doing 256. And so we are going to import Facebook. Uh-oh. We are going to import the Facebook icon. We are also going to import the YouTube and Instagram. All right. So everything looks okay. But I do want to make sure that I remove that white background in the back. And I am going to make these a little bit larger. So I'm going to go to properties and for the circles, I think I'm going to make them one and a half inches. Uh -oh. Not 15, 1.5. And I'm going to do 1.5. So we're going to make them all one and a half inches. All right, guys. So the same way that we removed the background for the QR code is the same way we're going to remove the background for the images. We are going to click on image trace. I'm going to click on expand and ungroup. And then I am going to click off on all of the white and now that is transparent as you see it's gray in between the facebook logo and so i'm going to do the same thing for the youtube logo and the ig logo all right y'all so i removed all of those backgrounds and make sure that you group especially these two you want to make sure that you group them back together so that you're not piecing it one by one or you're these are all separate pieces once you do that okay so you definitely want to make sure that you group it together you see how that went separate <laughs> you don't want to do that all right so here we go and so now it looks like these are pretty much how I want it to be. And so I am going to select on each one of these. I'm gonna select on all of the symbols and then I am going to create another compound path. 
All right. And so the one thing that I did not do yet that I completely forgot about doing is putting my logo here. So I'm going to just slightly move this up with my arrow so that I'm not moving it left or right because I'm going to put the slot a little bit back. And then I'm going to put the Craftable Things logo here. And the same way we did the Let's Get Social and the email address, we are going to do the same thing to the Let's Get to the Craftable Things logo. One thing I forgot to do, we need to select onto the symbols and we need to change those into cut files. Or not cut files, but we need to change that into red so that Glowforge knows that all they're doing is just cutting this out like this. All right, we don't want any engraving because we're going to be using a mirrored acrylic and we do not want the Glowforge to engrave around that area at all. All right, so this looks good. And now I need to import my logo in. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I turn this into an engravable logo all right guys so now we are going to get ready to save this i went ahead and i separated the hey y'all and the social media buttons off of the plaque because i don't want this to go into glowforge together because if it does it will try to cut the hey y'all out of the clear acrylic and we don't want that so I am going to move this down and I move this off and I am going to go to file. I'm going to export this and we're going to export it as YouTube social plaque. And we are going to click export and we're saving it as an SVG. Okay, and then I will get ready to meet y'all inside of the Glowforge app. So now we are inside of the web-based app for Glowforge, and we are going to get ready to import our file inside of the dashboard. I just want you all to know that I do have in the description a link to Glowforge. So if you do not own this amazing machine, you can click that link and you will get a discount off of your Glowforge in return. I will also get a bonus. So make sure that if you are not already a Glowforge owner, definitely consider using my link in the description. All right, so we are going to click create. So your choices are going to be to create a blank design, upload from a file, or capture from the Glowforge's camera. Today we are definitely uploading the file, so I'm going to go to create and upload file. And we are going to bring in our image. All right, y'all, so I'm actually recording this part after I've already completed the project. But I wanted to show you how the file came into the Glowforge app because I ended up creating a completely new file uh, because I did not record it in its entirety when I originally started doing the video. So this is how it came in. And as you all can see, these are independent of the plaque itself, but everything on the plaque is together. So that's why I removed it from on the plaque when I got ready to save it, okay? So this is also separate. On the side, this is where you select what you want the functions to be. So that blue, all of that blue is going to be engraved. The Let's Get Social will also be engraved as well. And then we are going to look at this score. And as you see, it came up as score. And that is that inner part. Because as you click onto the different sections on the side, it will light up for you. All right, and so we can get ready to cut the, we will be cutting with a piece of clear cast acrylic, proof grade acrylic, and we will also be cutting a piece of pink mirrored acrylic that we got from Cerulean Tides. And they have on their website the recommended settings for their material. And for this particular material, you can use the proof grade medium red acrylic setting within Glowforge, but you do have to go up to adjust it, okay? Because it'll say unknown material. 
All right, and so I'm going to go back to the original video. You will see um, it look a little bit different and you'll also see the clear acrylic that I'll be cutting. I'm just using a piece of acrylic that I've used before. Okay guys, these are all the colors that Cerulean Tide has in this mirrored acrylic. It's so beautiful. And we will be using some transfer tape for laser cutting and also a little bit of 3M that's double-sided adhesive so it will be applied to the back and it makes it easier. You don't have to use any glue or anything. And so I'm just going to remove this polyfilm that's on top of the mirrored acrylic. They say that it's fine for you to cut with this uh, film on top. However, I'm just going to remove it and place a piece of that transfer tape on top. Y'all know I'm just starting and I want to make sure that I'm doing everything safely. And so I'm applying the transfer tape on top of the glass. I'm not gonna put anything on the back because I'm going to be using the 3M adhesive. And I'm just going to scrape the transfer tape down to make sure it adheres nicely. Now I am going to get ready to measure the 3M because I only need a small piece to go in the back where we're going to be cutting the hay y'all. And now I'm going to peel one side of the adhesive off and then I am going to put that down and then once we cut we will remove the other backing to glue it onto the clear acrylic. So we are now ready to press that button and get this project started. So now it's time for assembly and this looks like it's stuck but I'm just going to kind of give it like a nice little push just to help it out because I think that 3M as you see it cut through the back where the 3M is and that 3M really does the job. So I am going to give it a nice little push to get it out but these are very very slim letters so I do want to be careful see it's coming out the same thing for y'all there it is and I'm not pushing I'm doing it with the back end of the weeder because of course I don't want to scratch anything I'm gonna have to be very careful all right, guys, so now we are going to get ready to take off the masking and it's probably best for you to have on some gloves. Since this is just like my first time actually doing one of these with the Glowforge, I'm not really worried and it's for me, but definitely if you are selling, you don't want to get fingerprints everywhere. All right, guys, so I'm removing the rest of the protective paper and y'all those small pieces i was trying to weed them out like by hand but definitely try using transfer tape even the strong grip works all right guys so as i'm removing the paper i'm just lining this up to do a basic layout you might want to maybe use the transfer tape to actually transfer those separate pieces as one 
instead of doing it how I did it where I'm putting them on as separate pieces. So I'm just removing the back of that 3M and I am aligning this up as best as I could, but the transfer tape would probably really help, especially for those symbols, because as I put them down, I don't know what was going on with me, y'all, but the Instagram one is a bit crooked, all right? But this is how it looks so far, and I am actually loving how it looks. It's just that one crooked piece. And yeah, so this Instagram logo, it's very tedious because the parts are, are super slender and small. But yeah, we're going to get it done and place it together. Just put that puzzle together. Okay, so now everything is coming together and it looks good. And so it's time for us to put the plaque together. So we're going to put the plaque on top of the base part. And you just want to be careful. At first I thought that it wasn't fitting, but you kind of have to help it in a bit. And so I pushed it down and I was able to slide it in and just kind of put a little bit of pressure. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to crack on you okay especially if you're selling these you don't want any cracks and you don't want any wasted material so I pushed it down and I'm glad that I made it a little bit bigger than the 0.125 because I think it needed that that extra space it could use a little bit more too but we're done and I'm loving it y'all all right y'all so we are all done with making this social media plaque and yes this qr code is perfectly scannable you can it usually works best if there is like a solid color behind it so if you want it to put like a piece of vinyl or something behind you can or you can maybe stack a piece of paper and then to make and scan it i kind of like the clear look the best but I'm absolutely loving it. As y'all saw, this did not take a lot of time at all to cut it and or to even put it together. So if you have a Glowforge or if you are considering a Glowforge or any laser cutter, these are pretty awesome. And remember, I got the acrylic, the pink acrylic came from Cerulean Tides. Their website will be linked below. The clear acrylic, this is just leftover acrylic that I had um, some proof grade acrylic from Glowforge and I'm super excited. I also got the 3M from Cerulean Tides as well and this is on here pretty pretty securely so you don't have to worry about it coming off. But yeah y'all this is so cute. I can't wait to make more. I will be featuring this item inside of my Etsy shop very soon so be on the lookout for that. But that's going to be it for today. If you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also head over to Facebook and join our amazing Facebook group. The name is also Craftable Things. In addition, head over to TikTok and join me on TikTok as well. But that's it y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.